technique that I use. First off, you, you want to make sure that your forearm is on the edge of the guitarron. You just rest your forearm. You want that for leverage. And then your wrist is just going to be nice and loose. So you can do this motion. It's not going to be straight like this. It's going to be a little more like this. And then you're going to squeeze the strings together. When you, Whenever you use the open A string, you're going to use your middle finger for this string and your thumb for the metal strings. Your first finger for the C and the E string. For the A string, your middle finger. Okay, so the technique I use, I squeeze the strings together and then I just lift up my wrist without lifting it up the strings. Recover the strings. Make sure you're using the tip of your thumb. Bending, you don't want your thumb bending back. You don't want it bending as a hitchhiker's thumb. You want it bending in like this. So you can see the string squeezing in. A good way to practice that, you can put your left wrist up on top of the strings. Squeeze the, the bones at the, at the ends of your wrist. Squeeze it with your t the tip of your thumb and your other finger. Just like that. If you can feel the, the pressure on both sides, lift up your wrist. Notice how they just release on, on its own. And this wrist did not lift. It didn't do that. Because you're just pulling on the sides. As soon as you lift up enough, your wrist lift. As soon as you lift up your wrist enough, the fingers release and come together. Imagine you're trying to join your fingers together. Same thing with these two when you do the E or C string. You want to make sure that your thumb is lined up parallel with the strings. coming in like this. Take your thumb in and never spring off the other strings. And remember, you're not lifting up the strings. You don't want to hear the strings slapping them. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear a nice, heavy sound. way to practice it so getting used to the technique even while you're driving or just practice with the wrist sound when you do the A just how like you have lever over here with the when you do G or G with the other strings you can put this part of your palm or your thumb on the wood here's another angle if you notice my hand motion is doing this not straight up and down turning a little bit like this. My wrist is not going this way or this way. Straight up like this. When you practice with your hand, you can do the same thing. 
So you can pretty much see the top of your wrist facing you. sounds louder and they have that support. Thank you guys, I hope this video helps. 